Hey there guys, Saber here. Welcome back to Blade Radio. Here we're always pushing the pedal when it comes to bring you the best mix of driving music and high quality value for money car products and services. You got Edge right here too and you are absolutely right Saber. It's all here under one roof. And what's more, our friendly and attentive staff is always on hand to give you expert advice on the latest car products available. Of course, Blade offers top industry brands like Sparco, 3M, Dub, Meguiar's, Pioneer, Mothers, Garment, and many more, all of course at a very reasonable price. We hope you enjoy your visit here at Blade Auto Center. Meanwhile, let's get right back to the music. Keep it here and always remember, if it's it's Blade, Blade, it's it's better. better! Good day, good day, everyone. Good day, everyone. Welcome to our daily drive. Yahoo! Your everyday tips for your everyday driver. In today's episode, we will be talking to the executives of Lexus Philippines. We'll be finding out what they will be doing, what they've been doing, what they plan to do uh, in the next few months. But uh, before that, uh, I'd like to introduce myself. If you're new to this program, my name is Ira Panganiban. This is your daily drive, the everyday tips for everyday driver. Uh, if you're new to this channel, we'd like you to uh, like, share, subscribe, and follow Blade Auto Center on YouTube, Facebook, Lazada, and Shopee. Look for the keywords Blade Auto Center. Look for the keywords Blade Auto Center. Like, share, subscribe, and follow all of our social media pages. Without further ado, I'd like to start our show today, our Daily Drive. Yay! Okay, before all that, I just to tell you guys, uh, before we end the show, Mamaya, you stay you stay with us for the next hour. You say, Mamaya, at the end of the show, we will be making, uh, we will be raffling off a prize. Uh, what you have to do, what you need to do, the first 50 sharers uh, well, with a sharer badge, uh, will qualify for our roleta. Just make sure na na share nyo tong program na ito sa dun sa mga accounts niyo. Tapos put it public. After you do that, comment on the box below. There's a box below. Comment box below. Comment. Okay, done. Shared. Things like that. You will. When we see that, we'll put your name on this roleta, the one you're seeing on your screen right now. And at the end of the show, ibobolahin namin. We'll we'll roll this roleta. And the lucky winner will get a special prize from Blade Auto Center. Yeah, na, a special prize from Blade Auto Center. There is a catch. You have to be here when I roll the dice. When I roll that roulette, you have to be here because when I call your name, you have to type in present at the comment section. If you're not here, you don't get the prize. We look for another winner. Okay? Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Also, also. For everyone who wants to uh, buy something from Blade Auto Center, your car and motorcycle needs, Blade is now available on Grab Mart. Same day delivery like Grab Food, sa mga gusto ng less hassle purchase transaction. Just download the Grab app and follow the four easy steps you're watching on your screen right now. And you'll get everything you need from Blade Auto Center. Blade is also available now on Zing app by Ayala Malls. Anywhere in the Philippines, mapapadala ang item order niyo gamit ang Zing app. Again, just download the app, the Zing app, and follow the four easy steps you're watching on your screen right now. And you get anything you order from Blade Auto Center. That's the situation natin ngayon. Gusto ng Blade to make your shopping easier and safer dahil pwedeng COD or card payment. Diba? Cashless. Cashless transaction. What are you waiting for? Download the Grab and Zing app and shop online sa Blade for your car and motorcycle needs. Now, before I go to our guest, I'd like you to watch our sponsor so I can thank them. Blade Radio Live would like to thank the following sponsors. Dub Project. Hero Motorcycle Accessories. Micromagic Premium Car Care 
Sparco Racing Accessories. Pioneer. Transcend. Bosch. For two wa Type S. If you like the programs at Blade Radio, please support our sponsors. And now, let's get back to our regular program. Hello, 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 hello. I hope you guys are having a good Thursday morning. And now we go to our guests. We have today uh, two of my uh, very, very closest friends in the motoring industry. Uh, I've been with them for... Wow. Medyo bata pa itong mga to eh. Pero I've been with them from the start of their careers, I think. So, <laughs> ako lang yung matanda. Okay, anyway. Uh, the Vice President for uh, the Lexus brand of uh, yeah of Lexus, of course, uh, of uh, Toyota Motors, is uh, here with us, Mr. Carlo Ablasa. Uh, Carlo, uh, good morning. Morning, good boss. Morning. How I hope uh, also, also with us is uh, Jade Season, uh, the communications uh, head of uh, Lexus Philippines, Lexus Manila. Jade, good morning. How are you today? Yeah, yeah. Dalawang, ano. Ito si Jade is uh, the daughter of one of my closest friends. And uh, I... You sinabi ko kanina na I saw her career start. I really did. I really, <laughs> I really did. <laughs> so that, that 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 just shows everybody how old I am, and that's all right. And <laughs> but they're here now, and I'm glad they're here. I'm glad they could join us. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here, uh, Jade and Carlo. But for my, I'd like to ask you, um, because we're talking about Lexus, uh, we'll do our later kamustahan, but that we'll talk about Lexus first. Uh, how has Lexus been doing? Uh, what have you guys been up to since? Because nangalahati na yung taon eh, di ba? So what have you guys been up to? Carlo, Jade, anyone wants to tell me some? Tell me about Good, this? I can, I can start first, Jade, di ba? So uh, actually, sir, uh, Lexus, uh, Lexus has been here uh, despite the pandemic, despite the lockdowns. Uh, we're still here servicing our customers. We're still offering uh, our vehicles. Uh, right now, um, we just uh, well we just launched the new Lexus LS, which is below six million uh, pesos, and of course we're selling the uh, Lexus LM, which is ano, uh, luxury mover or uh, our uh, luxury van from Lexus. So uh, uh, it's 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 not I I don't want to say struggle, pero we're trying to cope with the times. I know the times are hard, but uh, we're, 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 we're doing good. Mm-hmm. Well, at, at least you're doing better than your European counterparts. I know that here in the Philippines because uh, as everybody knows, Lexus is the premium brand or the Asian equivalent of uh, the European brands like Mercedes and BMWs. And considerably, when it comes to price, Medyo nakakalamang tayo dun sa mga European brands na yun kasi mas maganda ang pricing natin dito without sacrificing any of the quality that uh, we provide. Anyway, um, early in the early part of the year, nasimulan nyo nang gumawa ng some, ano, some physical activities. Uh, we, we did go out do some uh, test drive, although yes. it was just at the BGC. And it was personal. It was... Uh, Physical, medyo maganda lang yung uh, physical distancing natin at saka yung health protocols. Are you guys doing that again? Or are you guys planning that that out again uh, in the in this current situation? Siguro, ano, sir. Um, if the situation improves, of course, we will do those things. Kasi it's mm-hmm. always best to touch base with our customers, with the media, uh, to get them to experience the car. So, of course... Uh, Lexus, we have to always abide by the IATF rules, uh, the local government rules as well. So, but if everything opens up and um, people are have that uh, semblance of safety, um, we 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 can, we might restart some uh, physical activities for this year. Okay, okay. let's go to your cars. If I may, so, that I think that particular event that you were talking about was when we yeah. launched the, the all new IS, right? Yes, yes. Where yes, we yes, had yes. that 
I mean, it's always good to have a first-hand experience with a car because with the new normal right now, everything is online. Like we're yes. having this <laughs> remotely. I mean, normally mm. we would go to the studio and have this kind of conversation. But um, especially now, since uh, right, I think restrictions are easing up a bit. I mean, in terms of test driving our vehicles, the Lexus Manila showroom is open. So, of course, with we're always adhering to the highest safety protocols. We're always thinking about the, the safety and security of our customers. So, if they are really looking to uh, purchase their first Lexus or probably wanting to purchase a Lexus again, they could always visit our showroom that's open. Okay, since we're talking about that, ano, uh, since we're talking about safety protocols and people visiting showrooms, because really, you can't, sabi nga nila, if you buy a car looking at it from the from the window yeah. of your phone or from a computer, then you deserve what you get. And <laughs> <laughs> if you get something really terrible. So, mm. if you're buying a car, if I'm buying a car, if everybody's buying a car, I'd like to see it up front. And the best way to do that is to walk up to a showroom and mm. go check out the car, basically. Is uh, Lexus Manila, the one in BGC, uh, physically uh, physically ready for uh, people to come in? Uh, Jade, ano na ba yung mga ano? Ano na ba yung mga protocols sa loob? Uh, maguhugas ba sila? Kailangan ba nilang maligo? Maguhugas ba nilang maligo? What, 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 what do we do? What do, we do? What do, we do? It's pretty standard because I understand in most establishments right now, you have to declare your uh, the declaration health form, checking your temperature, you have to wear your face mask, your face shield. And of course, our um, our showroom is sanitized almost like 24-7 <laughs> in order for, you know, for, for our customers to feel safe, of course. But mm. it would be also uh, be more convenient if people can call in prior to mm. their yeah. uh, visit. So mm -hmm. everything will be prepared for them. They, um, our sales consultants from Lexus could have a more one-to-one -one discussion with our clients or customers. So th that will, I mean, right now, then, because most of the people, parang they reserve beforehand before actually going there before yeah, walking um, in itself. Oh. Lexus being Lexus, uh, it being the premium brand that it is, uh, we expect, naman na, syempre, if I'm a client. Tatawag na ako kay Jade o kaya kay Carlo, yeah. di ba? Yeah. Titignan ko yung bagong RX niya. Pwede ba pupunta ako dyan ng Friday ng 10 a.m.? Ganun na yun. It, 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 it happens that way already. Yes. For some customers, if uh, they want, they can visit the website. They can uh -huh. log in. Uh, sorry. Register there. And of course, uh, they'll um, inform their intention of a test drive or a showroom visit. Then we'll happily accommodate you. Because next to Lexus, Lexus Manila, I think that's always good. Mm open to accommodate our customers. Yun, di ba? That's nice. Mm. That's nice. Yung service, since we're in the health protocol thing. Of course, for Lexus, from my experience, uh, hanging out there before all of this happened, usually ang nagdadala dyan, hindi naman yung may-ari. Usually yung driver ang nagdadala mm. doon sa showroom for servicing and all that. Um, yung protocol is complete na rin, uh, Carlo. Well, uh, safety protocols are in place and complete since last year, uh, since uh -huh. since uh, since uh, this pandemic. Uh, but it would be better if ano, they can schedule an appointment so that we can mm -hmm. accommodate you. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sometimes kasi, uh, we have uh, full service capacity, so it's best that we call in maybe two days or three days ahead so that we can schedule your vehicle so that we can accommodate you better and that all the safety protocols are in place for your peace of mind. Yun, di ba? Oh, kasi, mm -hmm. kasi, yes, you mentioned yes. The, It's time that you mentioned about the after sales. So, uh, this weekend, actually starting today, until oh. the 19th, oh, we promo. We have promo a kami. promo. So, this is also our like Father's Day weekend, right? So, if you have your complete car maintenance at Lexus Manila, you get to save 40% on Lexus genuine uh, engine oil and other uh -huh. discounts for habitation products. So, if you mm -hmm. could schedule it right beforehand, uh, this uh, up until the 19th. So, that's mm -hmm. available at Lexus Manila. Yeah. Ah, o oh nga pala, nakita ko yun. Nakita ko sa email. Mm -hmm. Nakita ko <laughs> sa email. <laughs> May discount ko yata ito, di ba? Parang 20% oh. discount. Yes, 20% on sanitation, on sanitation products, correct. Oh, UV lab. Mm -hmm. May ganun pa. 
Oh, that would be very nice. For Father's nice, Day, no? yes. Oh, for Father's, Father's Day. Oh, pala, this is Sunday, Father's Day Sunday. weekend. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, pala, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Yeah. My son keeps reminding me. <laughs> I keep I keep telling him as a regalo ko. <laughs> but I have to go to him. It's way out in Las Vegas. Anyway, um, okay. What I'd like to know is your products. Um, tell me, guys. Kanina, Carlo mentioned that the, uh, the, the products that you've uh, launched uh, quite recently. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about this? The RX, uh, Carlo, you, you said uh, we just came out with the new RX. Uh, actually, sir, we, you know, we're, we just came out with the new, uh, well, uh, the LM and also the LS, which is uh, I see, I see. I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. sub-6 million peso Uh-oh. flagship vehicle. Mm-hmm. What, so we just launched tong- that. Ano tong bago sa LS natin? What what what's new with this uh, new with this LS ba model? Uh usually sir kasi yung LS natin is priced from uh 9 million to 11 million. But oh. now we came up with a sub 6 million LS. Oh, so uh, below me below below 6 million na yung LS natin. Million. It's still the same wheelbase. Mm-hmm. It still has that uh Lexus uh quality and durability. It mm-hmm, still retains mm-hmm. the same engine and power plant. Mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. course, there might be some um, difference in specifications, but uh, I think this is a very good value proposition for people looking for the LS or, or who are in the market for a new LS mm-hmm. or new but, luxury car. But from 9 million upwards to below 6 million, I'm sure mm-hmm. there are a few things that are not wala dun sa. Mm-hmm. To sa LS na to, what is the difference between the more expensive LS and this uh, uh, ano, more affordable LS? Uh, usually, there's difference in um, infotainment, some trim changes, uh, some uh, uh, comfort spec uh, changes like mga uh, masa- seat massagers. Oh, nawala yung ano? Power seat. Nawala so yung massager. Those, those, things, those things. But in terms of how the vehicle looks, uh, how the vehicle performs. Uh, basically, it's, it's it's the same as our uh, 9 million to 11 million LS. Well, kung ano, kung yung massager lang naman, magsasama na lang ako nung magmamasahe sa akin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, Shit. and then we have, the, we have the LM pa. We have the oh, yeah. uh, minivan pa. Diba? Yeah, you have the, the LM and the minivan pa, so it's all right. Diba? So how are these cars, how are these models doing, by the way? Uh, I can say that ano eh, the LM is uh, selling well because I think uh, it's a, a new player in the segment. Because uh, before we only had one brand to compete with in the mm-hmm, German mm-hmm. competitor. So mm-hmm. uh, some, it, it's doing well because some are upgrading to the LM um, because uh, it's easier to ride. Uh, it has a uh, bigger headroom, uh, bigger bigger glass you can see outside so you don't have to stoop down when you're entering the mm-hmm. vehicle just like if you're getting an LS. So it's, uh, it's doing well than expected. I see. Now, what I want to ask is how is Lexus doing in the market today? I, I know the market is a little bit iffy. Uh, I am sure, ano yan eh, ano lang naman yan eh, market movements lang naman yan eh. Dahil, mm. dahil lockdown tayo ngayon, medyo hirap yung negosyo, hirap lahat. Hindi lang naman automotive industry. But one of the, one of the industries that uh, are expected to make a rebound uh, really quickly when everything opens up is going to be the automotive market. But anyway, at the moment, how is Lexus doing? How is it projecting its uh, itself uh, in the next six months? Uh, uh, looking at the point, looking at the fact that uh, everybody's getting into the vaccination uh, situation and we may be opening up within the next six months. Uh, we're optimistic for the luxury market this year uh, especially what like what you said that uh, the vaccinations are ongoing and uh, uh, the market is opening up hopefully we can sell maybe around uh, 600 cars by the end of the year currently lexus is at uh, number two number three spot uh, compared to the german competitors so mm-hmm. uh, we're we're conservatively optimistic i guess because mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. because of the current situation sir. so yes, at least correct. yeah mm-hmm. no. Jay, 
Actually, that that's pretty much what we're all we're we're optimistic, but at the same time, it's also really trying to understand how the market is. I mean, it's interesting because a lot there were a lot of people who were interested in the LM. I think one of the good things about the LM it kind of like creates a space of safety because if you've seen the car, mm-hmm. Tito Ira, diba? Mm-hmm. Parang it, mm-hmm. it makes you feel so secured inside the vehicle. That's um, I mean, probably one of the things that customers really look for right now. It's that um, space of safety, space of security. So we'll see as the months go by, but we're we're optimistic about it. Jade, I'm I'm assuming I'm assuming you're the person who plans out all of these activities for Lexus, uh, like uh, going out and uh, uh, having people check you out, or even media activities. Uh, do you have anything on the pipeline? Because si Toyota, well, your group, but both Toyota and Lexus, no. Um, Laging one step ahead yan eh. Magbubukas pa lang, may nakaplano na para pag, pag nagbukas, implementation na lang ang ginagawa. Is there anything on the pipeline for uh, physical or outside activities for Lexus? It will be a busy year, for, well, especially on the last quarter of 2021 for us. Just like last year, right? When we yes, yes. introduced the all-new IS and we have two other vehicles that we're excited to introduce their improvements of the two models that we currently have i can say the one is a sedan and then the mm-hmm. other one's an suv so i think you guys already have an idea especially <laughs> the motoring media have a, a yeah. very good grasp of those models but uh, I guess just stay tuned and and see what we will be uh, uh, launching by the end of the year. Electric uh, or electric uh, cars, EVs or uh, hybrids. Uh, any plans by uh, Lexus to be more aggressive in this uh, area? Uh, the other the other brands are quite like getting into it. So I'm, I was just wondering if Lexus mm. would be aggressive with this uh, with these models. Uh, currently, sir, no. Uh, we recently launched the uh, all-electric UX in China. Mm-hmm. For the mm-hmm. Philippine market, we are currently studying the viability of an all-electric platform for our product lineup. However, um, if you can, siguro recall way way back, uh, Lexus was one of the first pioneer brands ready to introduce the hybrid. Mm-hmm. So, if the infrastructure for um, EV charging is not ready, our Lexus vehicles can address that, uh, giving you uh, the best of both worlds, Siguro. Uh, your electric motor being charged by your uh, internal combustion engine. So we have uh, a number of Lexus vehicles that are um, hybrid as well. Correct. And yep. as we go and progress to, through our product lineup, um, hopefully we can introduce more hybrid variants of our vehicles because people are really going into this ano eh, uh, electric vehicle hi- hybrid uh, mm. hybrid uh, frame of mind for uh, for siguro more environmentally friendly Correct. Eh, Correct. Uh, econ- economical vehicles mm. oh so, uh, um, projection kasi well globally uh, mm. most most actually toyota is one of the leaders here even lexus is one of the leaders here globally uh, they're all projecting a 2035, 2040 uh, timeline where lahat halos ng uh, automotive uh, companies will have their own electric lineup and uh, start reducing their ICE or internal combustion engine uh, production. Is Lexus in this direction also? Yes, sir. We are aligned. Uh, we are aligned to this in terms of uh, Toyota and Lexus direction that um, we will. Uh, we have to go this way already to save the environment. To save the planet and be sure more more economical for our lineup of oh. vehicles. I mean, this- I pretty much half of our lineup has a hybrid variant. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. IS has a hybrid. That's the Gateway yeah. Sedan uh, Lexus. Even the LS, like uh, what my boss was mentioning earlier, that has a hybrid. The RX, which you talked about earlier, is the first um, SUV. That actually had that hybrid introduction, so it's, that, that's something that we we believe in as a brand. So it's it's really the future for for Lexus and what we think uh, is the future for the Lexus uh, scope. Yeah. Nakita ko yung ano yung Toyota City na tinatayo in Japan, 
Oh. And I saw one of, I saw some yeah. of the Lexuses there. Yung yeah. mga Lexuses na nakita ko ba doon puro electric na 'yon? Ah, uh, baka sir hybrid pa or baka <laughs> concept video baka electric. Yeah. Diba? Oh. yeah I saw the concept the video. Good. Yeah. Grabe, impressive yung Toyota City na 'yon, na that I'd like to live there. I'd like... Elec- electrification sir Ira. We're going oh. to the electrification phase na. So you're going there, you're going yes. there. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, anything uh, else you'd like to uh, tell our audience? Baka naman meron kayong mga announcement. Aside from that wonderful thing we're doing this weekend for Father's Day. But is there any other uh, announcements from Lexus? Carlo, Jade? Uh, siguro, I can, I can start, Jade. Uh, for Lexus, uh, if you'd like to know more about our products, you can visit the website at lexus.com.ph or uh, visit our showroom, uh, at, uh, which is Lexus Manila in Bonifacio Global City. Um, set an appointment with us through the website and we'll be happy to accommodate you uh, test drive our cars we have a duo of vehicles there to test drive and for you to experience our Lexus vehicles Jade? Yeah, I'd also like to add in that we actually have a Rockwell display in Mahat oh. and all up until the 27th so if you're probably in the Mahat area or you're planning to drop by Uh, that there on the weekend. Actually, this entire weekend, and uh, up until the weekend, we're going to there. And we have a few of the models that we talked about here, such as the LM, that's available for you to, to look at and eventually experience for a test drive. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Salamat Thank sa you. oras ninyo. I really appreciate it. You know, it's that's what I keep telling every guest that I get in here. Thank you very much for your time. Mm, it's very difficult you. to get. Thank you, sir. It's very difficult to get time from everybody now with, with the way things are going. And I know your time is precious, so I'm really, really appreciate it if you spend a little time with me. And thank you very much. Thank you very much for your effort, and thank you very much for uh, being my guest in the show. I'll go call you again and invite you yes. in the future. <laughs> and no if problem. there's anything you need to announce. If you have new product announcements, if you have new uh, products that uh, are coming out or rolling out, you give me a call. I'll get you on air anytime you need. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. For the Thank you. Thank you for having us today. Thank you. Morning, Thank you, Carlo. Thank, Thank you, Jade. You, Thank you. Bye bye. I'll see you in a while. In the meantime, uh, let's go check out our sponsors again. Good luck. Slave Radio Live would like to thank the following sponsors. Dub Project. Hero Motorcycle Accessories. Micro Magic Premium Car Care. Sparco Racing Accessories. Pioneer Transcend Bosch Virtua Type S If you like the programs at Blade Radio, please support our sponsors. And now, let's get back to our regular program. Oh, <laughs> I was just preparing myself. Eh. And na tayo. For all of your pet needs, ladies and gentlemen, we are directing you to PetShop.ph. Uh, this is your one-stop shop for everything that you need for your future and present uh, furry, furry friends or little friends, uh, your pet companions and uh, all that. For your pet care needs, you can go to uh, PetShop.ph. Uh, Uh, you can get your, uh, well, this is a Fur Magic shampoo for your dog. And this one also, the, uh, these are Fur Magic uh, shampoos for your dogs. This uh, makes them uh, makes their coat uh, be shiny and bright. This is your PetShop.ph Vitality High Energy Dog Food. Uh, this one they use for uh, dogs that uh, go to dog shows, that do dog shows. Uh, it's pretty good for uh Your dog, of course, uh, we have here your whiskas. Uh, you can get this at PetShop.ph. This is for your cat. This is a good food for your cat. And for your puppies who still don't know, who still don't have discipline in uh, their pooping, in their number one and their number two, uh, 
This is your Hush Pet Disposable Diapros. You can get it all at PetShop.ph. PetShop.ph, you can find it online at www.PetShop.ph. That's www.PetShop.ph. On Shopee, you can get it at PetShop.ph. In Lazada, just look for PetShop.ph. If you need to go to a physical store, and there are some people who like to do that. Eh? They don't like online, so they go to their physical store. Then you can go to their stores at Clipper in Festival Mall in Alabang. Clipper in uh, Harbor Point in Subic. Uh, Clipper in Marquee Mall in Angeles City. And Clipper at Feliz Mall in Marikina City. This is your uh, PetShop.ph. Remember, it's www.PetShop.ph. PH. Don't Yahoo! forget, we have our Facebook Facebook uh, group. It's called Car Club Philippines. Uh, this uh, group gives you updates on the road, on the spot for things like traffic or floods or uh, car crashes and things like those. You can find it if you go to uh, our Car Club Philippines Facebook groups. It also features a little a little on the discipline side. So, magpapakita dito ng mga kamote riders or pasaway na drivers just to tell you what not to do when you're driving. And of course, if you ever get into trouble on the road, you get a flat tire or your engine breaks down, you can post it on our Car Club Philippines Facebook group. And one way or another, somebody will find you there and send you a rescue. They will send help so that uh, you can get out of the trouble you're in when you're in the middle of the road. Don't forget, that's our Car Club Philippines Facebook page. There we go. <laughs> Let's go to our... What do we do? Break? Let's go to our break. Hello, Platers. ECQ has been lifted and we start going back slowly to our normal routines, but we all know that COVID-19 will not disappear anytime soon, right? We have some tips for you on how to deal with COVID-19 to keep us protected. Welcome to our daily drive. Everyday tips for everyday driver. If you are not subscribed yet, you are missing out. We all know that this pandemic is not going away anytime soon. We need to be cautious and careful to protect ourselves and most especially, our families. Here are some reminders to help us all fight COVID-19. Number 1. Avoid carpooling. Carpooling is a practical solution in commuting, however, it is not advisable in today's time to carpool. If your usual passengers have their own cars, it's better for them to drive at least for now. For sure they would understand. If driving their own cars is not possible, then a healthy alternative like taking a bicycle to work might be a good way to exercise and get fit. Number 2. Wash your hands frequently. If you treat your car like your baby, then you wouldn't want to touch it with dirty hands. Before hitting the road, consider washing your hands with soap and water or use alcohol because it helps kill viruses. Or even yet, always have rubbing alcohol handy all the time. Number 3. Don't drive if you're sick. No matter how much you are itching to leave your home, driving sick is a risk already, how much more if you're infected by the virus. It is better to use your sick leaves rather than risking yourself on the road. Stay at home, quarantine yourself, and if that is not enough then go to your local health care clinic. Number 4. Clean your car. Clean your car especially the interiors and door handles since this is the area that is usually the first in contact with the virus. While cleaning, consider using gloves for it can help prevent the spread of the virus. Number 5. Don't leave any trash in the car. Leaving trash inside the car increases the chance of the virus spreading inside. So keep your car interior clean. Number 6. Cover your car. Not all car owners have their own parking slots. If you are parked outside your house, cover your car when it is parked on the street. People passing by may unintentionally touch your car and possibly transfer the virus to your car's surface. Number 7. Use face mask. Wearing a mask not only protects yourself from other people spreading the virus to you, but it also protects other people from getting infected if you unknowingly have the virus. Coughing, sneezing, and droplets of your saliva can instantly spread the virus inside your car. 
Do you agree with our list? Or did we miss anything? Comment down below so we can discuss it. We publish a new episode every day. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, so that you don't miss out on all of our new releases. For more driving and car care tips, visit us at www.blade.ph Blade Auto Center, it's Blade, it's better. Bladers. It's nice to have you here. It's nice to have you here. Thank you for watching us. Now we're, we are going to our industry news. Uh, I'd like to give you a little news about what's going on in the automotive industry. All right. Let's start out with uh, Nissan donating uh, the Nissan Leaf electric vehicle to uh, the Vatican. This is in, tight, in time with the World Environment Day celebration. Nissan is delivering or delivered a Nissan Leaf full electric vehicle to the Vatican. The donation signifies uh, the two organizations' shared goal towards carbon neutrality. The Nissan Leaf was received by Cardinal Giuseppe Bertello, President of the Governorate of Vatican City State and President of the Pontifical Commission for Vatican City State. The donation follows the launch of the Vatican's... Uh, Laudato Si Action platform to make Catholic institutions environmentally sustainable within seven years, which takes its name from the Pope's landmark 2015 encyclical on the environment. Managing director for Nissan in Italy, Marco Toro, handed over the keys to the white leaf during a special ceremony at the Vatican. He said he is honored on behalf of Nissan to support the Holy See on the path towards the decarbonization of its operation, a goal which Nissan shares with the Vatican. Available with two battery sizes and with technology including Nissan's e-pedal for single pedal driving, the Nissan Leaf is, man is manufactured for European markets in Sunderland, United Kingdom. That's the Nissan Leaf uh, for the Vatican. Next is uh, Honda Cars in Fairview. The Honda Cars in Fairview uh, is set to move to a bigger site uh, the uh, last May 27, 2021, Honda Cars Fairview held the gro groundbreaking ceremonies of its upcoming new site. We opened last December 2020 under the business group of uh, Gateway Fairview Motors Corporation. Honda Cars Fairview is currently located in Don Mariano Marcos Avenue in Commonwealth Avenue, Quezon City. Honda Cars uh, Fairview provides sales and after-sales services such as preventive maintenance and general repairs. Uh, set to officially open by the second quarter of 2022, the upcoming new site will have a total site of uh, 3,660 square meters and will be located in Mindanao Avenue, Corner Regalado Street, Fairview, Quezon City, along the main highway and near commercial areas. Honda Cars Fairview will offer Honda's latest product lineup and complete vehicle service facilities for general repair, preventive maintenance, and body and paint. That is uh, Honda Cars Fairview moving out to a bigger site. A uh, fancy news, uh, uh, Lamborghini Essenza SCV12 now has a carbon fiber monocoque hypercar. This is the result of outstanding design engineering. And you can see in the picture is the Lamborghini Essenza SCV12, a limited edition hypercar exclusively made for non-competitive track use, which feature a carbon fiber, fiber monocoque chassis Homologated according to the FIA spy hypercar safety standards, the Essenza SCV12 is a testament to Lamborghini's 30 years of experience in the study and application of composite materials in automobile. The Essenza SCV12 was born as a laboratory of ideas, allowing uh, the use of technical solutions usually found in racing prototypes, uh, such as the suspension installed directly on the load-bearing gearbox, which is an innovative solution for a GT car. This was said by Lamborghini's motorsport head, Giorgo Sana. In addition, it features the new carbon fiber monocoque chassis without a steel roll cage, resulting from a technical collaboration with the FIA, thanks to which uh, they've started the process that will lead to an exponential improvement in safety for GT racing drivers in the future. 
the carbon fiber chassis of Asensa SCV12 is produced in the autoclaves of Automobili Lamborghini CFK department in Santa Agata, Bolognese, the same division in charge with the production of the current Aventador lineup. The testing required by the FIA for the chassis homologation is extremely rigorous, involving both static and dynamic tests. The Lamborghini Squadra Corse technicians uh, thus extensively modified the structure of the production chassis from which the Essenza SCV12 chassis is derived. You can see that underneath. A beautiful car. Always a beautiful car. Okay, next. A survey. Uh, a survey on the Americans uh, shows that American deems Lexus ES and GX as the most dependable car models. Ah, we were just interviewing the Lexus guys. Basing on the 2021 edition of J.D. Power's U.S. Vehicle Dependability Study, the Lexus ES Luxury Sedan, and the Lexus GX premium SUV topped the survey as the most dependable car models. A study that has been done in the past 32 years, VDS measures the number of problems original owners experience from their three-year-old vehicles during the past year. It covers 177 specific vehicular problems grouped into eight categories, audio, communication, entertainment, navigation, or ASEN, Engine, transmission, exterior, interior features, controls, display, or FCD. And driving experience, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, and seats. The lower the score, the higher the vehicle is dependable. Lexus scored 81 compared to the average of 121, which shows reliability and dependability of the brand. Specifically, the Lexus ES won in the best compact premium car category with the Lexus uh, GX1 in the midsize premium SUV category. This is the ninth time in 10 years Lexus has ranked the highest among all car brands on dependability in this U.S. survey. Lexus ES continues the expression of the brand's design, direction, and commitment towards crafting vehicles with heightened excitement, emotion, and passion, expanding that vision of the brand's future to a broader audience. The Lexus GS is a versatile SUV, which boasts comfort and luxury, Perfect for the city and the great outdoors. It features adaptive variable suspension that adjusts whatever road it is on. That is the latest news from Lexus. Uh, the, they're having a good support from the American market. And finally, Ford Philippines. Ford Philippines has its 50th dealership in the Philippines. Under the supervision of Fairlane Automotive Ventures Incorporated, or FABI, Ford Talisay is set to further expand the reach of Ford brand in Cebu by offering quality Ford mod models and Ford ownership experience. Ford Talisay has a total floor area of 1,397 square meters that can accommodate a seven-car showroom display and 11 service bays with provision for future expansion. The showroom brings to life the in dealership branding guidelines of Ford, show, showcasing a more globally aligned exterior and interior look and feel called Ford Signature to offer customers a better dealership environment and experience. Uh, this is their 50th dealership facility of Ford in the country, and it is a special milestone for Ford Philippines and for their growing customer base. This is the 50th uh, showroom and Michael Breen, Mike Breen, the new uh, managing director of Ford in the Philippines, is very glad because uh, as he comes in as the new uh, managing uh, director of Ford Philippines, uh, this is what greets him, the opening of the 50th branch, 50th showroom of Ford Philippines, of Ford in the Philippines. To celebrate its opening, Ford Talisa is giving away a special Ford merchandise to the first 50 customers. Customers purchasing a Ford Territory Ranger or Everest within the month of June and July will also receive free scheduled service plan package. Special offers are also up for grabs for select Ford vehicles on top of the existing promos and deals. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Ford has a new uh, managing uh, director. His name is Michael Green. Uh, he was uh, he replaces uh, PK Umasangkar, who is transferring, I think, to uh, Singapore, uh, or is transferring to the ASEAN uh, headquarters of Ford to take care of uh, bigger and for him better 
things for Ford Group Asia. Uh, we will miss PK, uh, Uma Sankar. We will, face, uh, we will miss uh, Uma as we fondly call him because uh, he's been with us for quite a while. Oh, yan. Yan yung uh, mga ano natin, mga <laughs> balita natin sa automotive industry. By the way, um, wait, uh, there's something I failed to, uh, I failed to uh, read to you. Um, I have your story, wait. Uh, hold on, hold on, I have that. I, I just got the reports of the, of uh, Campi, uh, the the automotive organization of uh, the Philippines. Uh, did do I have the report there? Uh, a joint report by the chamber. Of, this is the Chamber of Automotive Manufacturers of the Philippines or Campi, and the Truck uh, Manufacturers Association, the TMA. Uh, industry sales, uh, automotive industry sales, has uh, increased by twenty three point six percent in May of twenty twenty one. Or a growth, a growth from the seventeen thousand eight hundred forty-three units sold in April. Uh, Campi President Attorney Romel Gutierrez uh, said the industry welcomed the double-digit month-on-month growth amid the shift to the more relaxed quarantine restrictions in NCR Plus. Diba? Similarly, the year-on-year -year growth of uh, nearly three hundred sixty-one percent from four thousand seven hundred eighty-eight units sold last year, last year, or May. The industry, uh, Gutierrez says, Attorney Gutierrez says, uh, remains optimistic uh, for a nascent this recovery of at the same time on guard for any downside risk of the pandemic, particularly if lockdowns are reimposed in the NCR. Uh, year to date, the industry has sold 110,277 units, a 58.7% increase compared with the same period last year. Last, last year was terrible. Last year was... Uh, Ah, my God. But now, uh, up to May, that's 11,000. That's 110,217 units. I think we are on track to uh, we are on track uh, to achieve what the company is looking to uh, hit. Uh, they're looking to hit something like 300, 320,000 cars sold within the year. Uh, still way below. The uh, 470,000 record sales in uh, 2017 by the auto industry were still running after that. They're actually still running up. They're still dreaming of selling about a million cars uh, in one year in the near future. But uh, at the moment, even with the pandemic, uh, selling uh, 110,000 cars uh, uh, year to day uh, by May of 2021 is a... It's an excellent achievement already. All right. What's next? What's next? Uh, wala tayong Blade product. Ano? Sige. We'll go, to, we'll go uh, on a break and then we'll come back uh, for more Kwentuhan. See you in a while.
<laughs> and for your uh, automotive, car, and motorcycle needs, uh, I'd like to present to you some uh, products from Blade. This is your uh, Blade Sunshade. Uh, quite cool. This is Sunshade. This is the one you put in front of your uh, windshield when you're parked under the sun so that uh, the inside of your car does not get burning hot. This is the Blade Sunshade. You can get it at uh, any Blade store or you can get it online at blade.ph. It's $149.75. This is cool. Uh, of course, this is your seatbelt pads. You know, it goes here. It goes here. So when you have a seatbelt, seat belt like that, right? It goes there. You uh, slip it in. It makes sure that uh, the pad on your chest is uh, a little bit more comfortable. Some people put it on their shoulder. I said this is where uh, most of the friction happens uh, when you have a seat belt. This one uh, reduces the friction and it feels better, soft and better. This is your uh, blade uh, seat belt pads, right? And then, of course, of course, for your kids at the back or even in front, right? this is your blade accessory cup holder. Pag kulang yung cup holder sa kotse nyo, di ba? You can get cup holders from Blade and you can uh, scatter it all over the place. Especially if you have kids. If you have a lot of kids and you want uh, cup holders for uh, whatever it is that your kids drink, you can uh, buy accessory cup holders from Blade Auto Center. Uh, yeah, If your car is not... Uh, Subaru, uh, it's not a Subaru that has 19 cup holders, then you will need to buy one from Blade. Okay? Blade cup holders. Yes. Uh, it's uh, installed in your uh, car headrest. Uh, how much is this? It's only $199.75. All right? Those are our products, our specialty products from Blade Auto Center. Okay. Now, what are we going to do now? Now, we are going to... Go to our roulette. Oh, yeah, na. Ito na tayo. Roulette na tayo. Ito rules. I'll just give you the rules. If you're not here, if I call your name and you don't react to me in 20 seconds, 20 seconds na kasi may, ano, may lag yung, ano, yung uh, Facebook, eh. di ba? Tsaka yung social media. So 20 seconds. If you don't react to me in 20 seconds, we're going to raffle it off and find another winner. Okay? So pay attention. We're doing it now. We're spinning the roulette now. Let's spin them in. Oh yeah, Gretchen Almario. Gretchen Almario, I want to find you. I want to see you. You have 20 seconds. I'm going to count right now. Gretchen Almario, that's 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, lapit na, 12, lapit na, 13, 14, Gretchen Almario, Gretchen Almario, where are you? 15, Gretchen Almario, you're gonna lose this, 16, 17, Gretchen Almario, 18, Gretchen Almario, 19, Gretchen Almario, 20, wale, sabi ni Jason. <laughs> Wala, sorry Gretchen, sorry. Let's spin again. 
Let's find out who takes Gretchen Almario's place. Okay, sorry Gretchen ha. Sorry, 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 sorry. Marisol Malate. Ayan, Marisol Malate. Bilis-bilis mo, Marisol. Ang daming winners na naghihintay. Punong-puno yung aming uh, roleta. Marisol 1. Marisol 2. Marisol 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Marisol Malate, 11, ang lapit lang ng Malate dito, hindi naman probinsya yan eh, 12, 13, 14, 15, wala na, you're gonna lose this, 7, 16, comment uh, present Marisol Malate, 18, <laughs> 19, wala, sorry, next, oh, sabi, next, let's spin it again, sorry Marisol Malate, sorry din, di ba, okay, eto na, Anto Al Rol Glaison I Rol Glaison LMS. Ano to? Hindi ko mabasa yung ano. I Rol Glaison LMS. Oh sige. Hindi ba? Basta bibilangan kita. Bibilangan kita baliktad naman. Di ba? Simulan natin dun sa mahamalaki. Oh, I'll count now. 20. 19 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Mawawala itong Iron Glaze on LMS. 4, 3, 2 1 Sorry Marisol Malate Sorry na kanina Wala na Dinaanan na kita Sorry Sorry <laughs> Eto na Ying Rago Nunez o, Ano ba? Ying Rago Nunez Baka naman gusto mo nang mag-comment Sabi sa inyo Stay at the pro- at until the end of the program eh. Pay attention eh. Di ba? O sige Bilangan ko na si Ying Rago ha Bia, bia, bila ko si Ying Rago Nunez. 10, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Ying Rago Nunez. 14. Ying Rago Nunez. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Ying Rago Nunez, 4, Ying Rago Nunez, 3, Ying Rago Ay, teka, 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 teka. Huwag ka muna mag, ano, wag ka muna mag-spin. Huwag ka muna mag-spin. Diba? Mukhang mabagal, eh. Diba? Mukhang mabagal, eh. Diba? Pati si I roll ngayon lang pumasok, eh. Diba? Mabagal ba tayo sa kanila o sila mabagal mag-react? Ha? Delay yung live natin sa kanila. Hindi, haba na rin binibigay natin. 20 seconds na yun. Pabagal na 20 seconds na nga yun. Eh. Nasa mga isang minuto na nga yung bilang ko. Eh. Hindi ba? O, spin mo na! Sige. Spin! Spin! <laughs> Pero si Risa Villanueva, kanina pa comment ng comment eh. Hindi ba? O, yan. Andeng Pam. Andeng. Andeng. Ikaw. Ikaw ba yan? Ikaw ba yan? Sabi ni Janet uh, Servillon, late sila. Sabi ni Risa Villanueva, late sila. Andeng fam! 
I'm counting now. Bibilangan kita, ha? O, oh, yan. Bibilangan kita. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, Andiyan na, andiyan na, andiyan na, andiyan na. Ah, ayan na. Andiyan na si Andeng. Oh, finally, merong nakatama ng tamang uh, timing. Hindi ba? Andeng fam ang nanalo sa ating uh, roleta. Andeng, ang gawin mo, what you do is, you get in touch with our friends now to tell them how to get in touch with you, paano ka makokontak, paano, kayo, paano makukuha ang premium mo dito sa Blade Auto Center. Yan na. So, Andeng ha. Ikaw ang nanalo. Ikaw ang nanalo ng special prize from Blade Auto Center. Get in touch with our friends and tell them how they can get to you your special prize. I gotta go. I gotta go. For now, don't forget ang uh, schedule natin every week. Pag uh, lunes, si Senpai Kazu para sa iisang uh, pangarap. Si Love, may ikot-ikot lang oh. Si Lab Lab every Tuesday for Blade Moto. Yan. Di ba? Si Mr. Wright every Wednesday for Blade Stories. Uh, of course, it's me every Thursday for our daily drive. Uh, Bloody Boom every Friday with Jack Logan. What's up, Bladers? On Saturday with DJ Rapido and Blade Stories Reloaded naman with Mr. Wright uh, every Sundays. That is uh, our lineup for the week. But that's it for me. So I got to tell you bye-bye. I got to go. I'll see you again. In the meantime, it's me, Ayer Panganiban. This is our daily drive for Blade Radio Live. Peace out. I got to go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Blade Radio Live would like to thank the following sponsors. Dub Project. Hero Motorcycle Accessories. Micromagic Premium Car Care Sparco Racing Accessories Pioneer Transcend Bosch For Chihuahua Type S. If you like the programs at Blade Radio, please support our sponsors. And now, let's get back to our regular program. Blade Auto Center offers you a wide range, wide range of car accessories, auto parts, tools, and car-related gift ideas. Gift ideas. Find everything you need here at Blade Auto Center. You're tuned in to Blade Radio. <laughs> Blade Radio Here at Blade Auto Center We always put our customers first We know our parts and products And we've got the best merchandise At the right price At the right price This is Blade Radio Blade Radio. Hey there guys, Saber here. Welcome back to Blade Radio. Here we're always pushing the pedal when it comes to bring you the best mix of driving music and high quality value for money car products and services. You got Edge right here too and you are absolutely right Saber. It's all here under one roof. And what's more, our friendly and attentive staff is always on hand to give you expert advice on the latest car products available. Of course, Blade offers top industry brands like Sparco, 3M, Dub, Meguiar's, Pioneer, Mothers, Garment, and many more, all of course at a very reasonable price. We hope you enjoy your visit here at Blade Auto Center. Meanwhile, let's get right back to the music. Keep it here and always remember, if, if it's, it's Blade, Blade, it's better! better.